Hello, St. Vincent's. Welcome to Children's Liturgy of the Word for the fourth Sunday of Easter. My name is Leslie Adams, and I'm with my daughters, Emily and Lauren. And so we are so happy to be here with you today. It's been a long time since we've been together, and we can't wait until we can all be back together um, at church at St. Vincent's. Um, so we're going to begin in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Risen Christ, bless us with open minds and hearts to listen to the good news. Help us rejoice fully throughout Easter time, who lives and reigns with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Emily's going to read to us now the gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever does not enter a sheepfold through the gate, but climbs over elsewhere, is a thief and a robber. But whoever enters through the gate is the shepherd of the sheep. The gatekeeper opens it for him, and the sheep hear his voice as he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has driven out all his own, he walks ahead of them, and the sheep follow him because they recognize his voice. But they will not follow a stranger. They will run away from him because they do not recognize the voice of strangers. Although Jesus used his, this figure of speech, they did not realize what he was trying to tell them. So Jesus said again, Amen, amen, I say to you, I am the gate for the sheep. All who came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not listen to them. I am the gate. Whoever enters through me will be saved and will come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes out only to steal and slaughter and destroy. I came so that they might have life and have it more abundantly. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. Okay, so um, girls and um, boys at home too, do you have pets at home? I want you to think about your pets and think about what do you um, do with your pets? Lauren and Emily, we we haven't had a lot of pets at our house, uh, but we have had fish. So Emily, what what did we what did we have to do to take care of our fish? Um, we we had to feed them, and we also had to clean out their bowls to make sure you know they were safe and clean. Okay, and Lauren, people who have other kinds of pets like dogs and cats and um, hamsters, what kind of things do you have to do with those kind of pets? Um, you have to play with them and love them and make sure they get their exercise in and wash them. That's right. That's right. And I know you were probably thinking you do all of those things with your pets at home. And so we all love our pets and we enjoy their company and God wants us to love all of our living creatures. So back in Jesus's time, um, they had a lot of people um, raised sheep. They weren't necessarily their pets, um, but a lot of people had sheep. And so... Lauren, why did people have sheep back in those days? What did they, the sheep give them? Um, they gave them meat and wool, and the wool would make clothing, and the meat would feed the family. Absolutely. So it was really important to have sheep because they could be really helpful and useful um, to the people in Jesus' time. Um, and so then also, Emily, what did, who took care of the sheep besides just the everyday people? Well, mainly the shepherds took care of the sheep. Okay, and so what was why what was important about the shepherds? What did they do for the sheep? The shepherds led them and protected them and led them into pens so that they were safe from everything outside. Right, right. Just like we have fences a lot of times in our yards, um, we they had to have fences because they also had wolves back in Jesus's time, and so the shepherds would protect the sheep from the wolves. And so today in our reading. We talk about um, that Jesus is our good shepherd. And Jesus, we know Jesus loves us. And he, just like the shepherd of the sheep, um, Jesus wants what's best for us. He wants to keep us safe. And last week um, in the reading, the apostles, we read about that they didn't recognize Jesus um, until he actually broke the bread. But this week, um, you probably heard, um, let's see what it said. It, it talked about that the sheep hear his voice. And so what this week we read is that we can recognize Jesus by his voice. 
And that's really important because we, if we hear Jesus's voice, we can recognize whether it's Jesus talking to us or if it's a stranger. We don't want to listen to strangers if they're trying to hurt us or lead us astray or tell us false things about God. And we know that we can't actually hear Jesus's voice right now, but we can recognize that it's Jesus through his teachings. When we come to children's liturgy of the word, we can um, listen to what God is telling us through his readings. And so that's just really important. Jesus died on the cross for us. And because of that, because of his sacrifice, he protects us through his sacrifice and his teachings. And so all of you are so precious to God. And you're precious to all of us. When you were baptized, you became a child of God. And so because of this, you don't have to be afraid. Um, because we know God is always there protecting us. You are his sheep. And God is your sh good shepherd. I know right now that things can be kind of scary or sometimes sad. but We don't have to feel that way because we know that God is always there. If we're still feeling sad or a little scared or unsure, all we have to do is pray to Jesus and ask him to continue to protect us. And so let us um, end with a quick little prayer. Loving God, you tenderly care for us as a shepherd who watches over his sheep. Grant what we ask through Jesus Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. Amen. And so one last thing that I would like to leave you or the girls and I would like to leave you with is I love to sing when we're together in children's church. And I know that I really miss our singing. And so um, we always sing one of my favorite songs. And so if you know it, um, mm -hmm. sing with us. And if you don't know it, I think you'll be able to pick it up really quickly. And so if you're having a really good day and you're happy or maybe you're sad or maybe you want to cheer somebody up, this might be a great little song um, that you can sing along with others. Okay, and it goes like this. How great is our God. Sing with me. How great is our God. And all will see how great, how great is our God. Sing again. How great <laughs> is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. And all will see how great, how great. God. See you, may Lauren happy. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day and we hope to see you soon.